I am so hungry. I could eat a horse right now. Oh my god. <sighs> what do I want? What do I want? Oh. Rice Krispies? Sure. Oh. Oh wait, I can't have carbs. Ah, oh, fuck. I'll just make something instead. Oh, mom got bagels? Word. Oh, I can't have carbs. Ah, oh, fuck. I'll just have something light instead. Maybe a granola bar or something. Yes. Oh, wait. I can't have carbs. Ah, oh, What is going on, guys? Brett with 1T back here with another video. Brett with 1T. Brett with 1T. I'm going to patent that. That's mine now. Nobody else is using that. Okay, that's mine. It's all mine. In this video, I'm going to be going over some very important things that I didn't know when I started lifting, okay? I wish I knew these things when I started working out, but frankly, I didn't, and it probably set me back a bunch of years, and I probably lost out on a bunch of gains and muscle gains because I didn't know these things. However, that is why I am here, because I want you to not make the same mistakes. I want you to know these very important things inside and outside of the gym, okay? Because there's some things that you can do inside the gym and outside of the gym. So with all that being said, let's start off with number one, and that is... Cutting carbs. Yeah. <sighs> the first thing that everybody thinks of when they're trying to diet and they're trying to get into shape is getting rid of an entire macronutrient food group. And what is this for most people? Carbohydrates, okay? They think, because I am having carbs, I'm fat. If I'm having carbs, I'm gaining weight. If I'm having carbs, I am not doing something right in my life. You don't have to do that. You don't have to cut your carbohydrates. You don't have to get rid of any macronutrient food group, including carbs, or even if you're thinking about cutting your fats, okay? Consuming fat won't make you fat. Overconsuming will make you fat. Okay, end of story. Carbohydrates will give you that energy to have better lifting performance and to, you know, excel in the gym and build up the muscle. You need energy in your body. Energy comes from your protein, your carbs, and your fat. These are your macronutrients, okay? Have all of them. This is, let's just, let's just put that down. You can have all three of these and you should be having all three of these to make progress. In the long run, if you wanna make progress and you want to actually see progression inside of the gym, you know, in terms of your own physique and whatever your goals are, you can have protein, your fats, and your carbs. You do not have to cut carbs, okay? End of story. I was actually that guy who thought that cutting carbs was gonna get me to where I wanted to go, but actually it just made me like super tired from my workouts and I didn't have enough energy to like get through my workouts some days because I was having chicken and broccoli and literally just eggs and beef on a daily basis. And don't get me wrong, you wanna go keto and you wanna go that route, it's totally fine because you can have enough energy in your workouts off like ketones or like however keto people kind of say their silly terms and everything. Don't get me wrong, you can do that. I'm not saying you can't, but for like 90% of the population, people like carbs, people like donuts, people like pizza, people like burgers. They don't want to cut that out and they have cravings all the time. And then they just, you know, end up eating that regardless. Not the case, okay? You can have those things in your diet and still make progress. So yeah, you don't have to do that. You don't have to cut carbs. Bro, what the f are you doing? What do you mean? I'm just working out, man. Dude, I may not know everything about working out, but I don't know what the f you're doing. Just working out? Leave me alone, man. Now this one may be a given and you probably already know this, but you have to, you have to prioritize your form and your technique over the weight. I don't care what weight you were doing, put your ego in the back seat, okay? Grab your ego and throw it out the front door because if you're in the gym lifting 865 pounds on the bench press and you're going like this, uh, uh, uh. You're not doing what that exercise is meant to do. And in terms of the bench press, it is to build your chest. So don't even increase the weight on the bar or the machine or whatever exercise you are doing until you get your form and your technique right. Okay, me personally, my form and my technique was absolutely horrendous when I first started. You don't want to do that. Okay, don't throw out your back and prioritize your form and your technique before increasing the weights. Big weights will come, the big boy weight will come and trust me, you will build more muscle if you get your form and your technique in check before you even, you know, like start to increase the weight on the bar, so.
Yeah. Number three, getting too comfortable. Okay, I know I just talked about prioritizing your technique and your form over increasing the weight. However, if you have your technique and your form in place already and you are just doing the same thing week in and week out, you're going on to the bench press, you're doing four sets of 10 reps with a uh, plate on. So like 135 pounds, three, four months straight. If you're not progressively overloading and you're not trying to get better or you're getting too comfortable with the weight that you were using because you don't want to increase the weight. You think that I'm just going to be pushing myself too hard or I don't need to be doing that because I want to focus on more hypertrophy and I want to be building muscles so I'm gonna go for like 12 to 15 reps and I'm not gonna push myself hard in the gym I remember squatting two plates so 225 pounds every single squat workout for like two years straight no joke I never increased the weight not even to 275 I knew I could only get like maybe two maybe three reps and I thought that if I'd fail that would be embarrassing if I failed to squat like everyone would look at me and I'd be like that stupid guy in the gym who just stinks like all the time people hate that guy and I thought I'd be that guy but that actually Actually, it wasn't the case. I was just too scared to increase the weight. I didn't want people to think of me of failing or I didn't want people to like look at me and be like, oh, he shouldn't be doing that weight. I knew deep down inside me that I could probably do that weight, but I didn't want to push myself. I was getting too comfortable with my workouts and my program, even though I didn't even have a program. I didn't even know what a program was when I started first working out. I just thought pick stuff up and then like put it down and like lift it up again, and then put it down like over and over and you were going to get better in some way, but that's not always the case. You want to make sure that you can safely do those exercises with good form and good technique. Okay, don't throw on 315 pounds on the bench press with no spotter if you don't even think you could get it for one. Okay, don't max out just because I'm telling you to not get comfortable with whatever weight you're previously lifting, but if you don't have that program. If you don't have that progression within your workouts that makes your workouts get harder or you're doing more work over time, then you're not gonna be getting anywhere. If these are the boundaries right here and you're feeling good one day, go past those boundaries okay push yourself maybe get a training partner to i don't know like help you make some gains okay don't get too comfortable okay yeah now the next point that i really really didn't know when i first started lifting was progression is not linear now let's say you have a goal of starting at 200 pounds and you want to get down to 170 pounds in six weeks okay first off that is a crazy transformation if you can do that if you actually can lose 30 pounds in six weeks by not starving yourself and actually doing things properly you know what you're doing you can probably just skip over this video you know what you're doing and i'm probably i probably don't know what i'm doing so this line right here will not happen it, it won't happen i'm sorry it won't happen. I'm sorry to, you know, make any babies cry in this video, but you will not lose like five pounds every single week until you get to that end goal of 170 pounds. Progression actually might look like this. You might actually lose more than you thought off the start. Maybe you ate a little bit too much, or maybe you just started plateauing where your weight isn't changing, or maybe you were just pretty much stagnant. So you'll go down a bit. Maybe you'll stay the same. Maybe you'll even go up, but then maybe you'll go down again, but maybe you'll go up, but then you'll go down, and then maybe you'll even stay the same and maybe you'll end up like kind of like right here kind of like right here, that's okay. Because progression is not linear. You won't lose five pounds every single week. Same thing goes if you were trying to, let's say, increase your bench press. So let's say you're starting at 100 pounds bench press and let's say in either six weeks or six months, cause we're, you know, trying to think logically now and we're actually using um, the appropriate duration for, you know, increasing strength and such. You have a 220 pound bench press goal. Will this go up every single week? Will you gain 10, maybe 20 pounds on your bench press every week? week or every month? Probably not. That's probably not true unless you're Larry Wheels, Matt Does Fitness, or some strong ass guy who doesn't have a YouTube channel or an Instagram or anything like this where we can actually see your physical progression. So I don't mean to like put you down or get you unmotivated or demotivated and make you not want to go to the gym because you know what? This random ass guy on the internet told me I'm not going to be benching 220 pounds in six months. If that was the case, I would personally be bench pressing like 405 pounds by now, but I'm still like, weak as shit so just understand that progression will not be linear don't quit don't like stop whatever you're doing because you don't think that progression will just automatically go down if you're trying to lose weight or automatically go up let's say if you're trying to gain weight it happens in stages you'll gain weight you'll lose weight you'll gain weight if you stick at it you will get to your goal i didn't even know what a goal was when i first started in some cases maybe you can do this maybe it's constantly going down for you maybe your bench press skyrockets and that's awesome Give yourself a pat on the back, champ. But for most people, including myself, that is not the case. So progression is not always linear. Are you gonna stay? All right, let's just take it. Yeah, I'll take it. Jesus Christ. How did you...
Weren't you just... Whatever. Anyways. Getting tired is normal. And overtraining is a real thing. Overtraining can actually happen. You can actually overtrain. You can actually get tired. You can actually get very unmotivated to work out and your strength won't be going up in the gym because you were overtraining. Many people won't actually know that they are overtraining. They'll just think they're super tired. They can't get out of bed. They think that having eight coffees a day is, you know, not working. Maybe there's not caffeine in that coffee and maybe the Tim's drive through guy is just giving you bullshit every day. Maybe he's just giving you a decaf coffee. Me personally, when I first started, I would go balls to the wall every single workout for literally months on it. I did not think that overtraining was a thing. I didn't understand why I was tired. I thought I just had to push through, maybe increase my calories, maybe even take a break from my diet because I don't know, maybe I'm just not doing something right. I didn't know that I was actually overtraining. Overtraining is pretty much just when you hit your plateau, you hit that end of your training block or your training phase in your program where you're not making that much more progress in the gym. Maybe your strength isn't going up. Maybe it's actually going down a bit because your body is fatigued and it needs rest rest. It needs that little break. And this is where deload weeks and taking breaks from the gym every now and then are actually very important making progress because your body needs to recover. You're tearing down your muscles in the gym, but then you're recovering outside of the gym. So if you're someone who wants to keep making progression year after year after year, don't try and just push through that fatigue because that's gonna happen. Overtraining will happen. You can actually get injured. Then you will just cry to your mother when you come home after you break your arm because you thought you could just push yourself harder. You're not gonna lose all your progress just from not, you know, working out for a couple days. Just enjoy my life for a week where I'm not thinking about the gym 24 seven because real people like do other stuff with their lives, like walk around their house and use a whiteboard to show people stuff. So yeah, overtraining is a real thing. Can you please move out of the way? I'm trying to, oh God, so rude. Anyways, you probably don't wanna hear this last one, but building muscle and losing fat is actually pretty easy to build muscle. You have to be in somewhat of a calorie surplus to build muscle. You can still be in a deficit or even in a maintenance phase and build muscle. I'm not saying you can't. Then in terms of losing body fat, you probably should be in a calorie deficit and you probably should be doing more cardio than you previously were doing to, you know, burn more calories, increase your non-exercise activity thermogenesis, increase your PDEE, your total daily energy expenditure to alternatively, you know, lose weight. It's not that hard. I'm not saying that's all you have to do to lose weight or to build muscle, that's the basics, guys. If you, if you get the basics down and you can drive that into your skull, it's inevitable. Like you will be building muscle if you're progressively overloading in the gym. You will be losing body fat over time if you're in a calorie deficit and you're doing more cardio. It, it's just common sense. It's like when you're drinking, if you finish a whole two six of vodka in a night, you're probably gonna be drunk and you probably can't drive home, right? Obviously there's more to it when you get more advanced and stuff. You wanna follow a program to alternatively still build muscle because you're out of your like newbie gains kind of phase. It's actually not that hard. People overcomplicate building muscle. People overcomplicate losing body fat. You don't have to cut your carbs. You don't have to underconsume drastically to lose weight. You don't have to overconsume drastically to gain weight. Obviously it's easier said than done, but it's not difficult. It's not easy, but it's not difficult. Now, am I making insane progression? Am I perfect? <laughs> That's a stupid question. No, unfortunately. But you know what? That's okay because everybody makes mistakes. You will never be perfect in your life. You will never be perfect inside the gym, inside the kitchen with your diet. You're never going to be perfect, but that is okay because you live and you learn. And I made a bunch of mistakes when I started lifting, which is why I'm telling you guys this. I don't want you guys to make these same mistakes. You no, know, these things are good to know when you first start lifting, especially when you're a newbie and you know, you want to make as much gains as physically possible. So guys, anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said, I'm not perfect. I even know what I'm doing some days, you know, I literally can walk into the gym and do whatever. And I'm just like, why did I do that? Why did I, why, like, why? Why am I eating this donut? Why am I, it, uh, actually, I know why I'm eating those donuts because donuts are literally the best thing ever created on this planet, so. But of course, there's much, much more to it. There's obviously more important things that you wanna keep note of, like taking out the garbage, you know, stopping at red lights, having enough protein in your diet, and you know, just enjoying your life in general. So I just wanna end off the video by saying I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and if you still wanted to get anything from Raw Gear's last and final drop of 2020, just hit the link down in the description. You can pick anything that you want for your family and friends, because you know what, you love them and you want to get them gifts. And because honestly, this drop is literally 
like comfy as f But if you guys did end up picking up anything, just use my code Brett with one T. Hey, Brett with one T at checkout, and this will save you an extra 10% off. So hopefully you can learn from my mistakes. Okay, I'm still making mistakes on the daily, okay? I still don't have four coffees every single day. I still don't brush my teeth every single day. Actually, no, that's a lie. I do both of those things um, on a daily basis. But hopefully you learned like from my other mistakes. And if you did, please give this video a like, subscribe if you're new to the channel. With all that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, deuces. That is a terrible graph. I really have to go back to school, man. I gotta give up. I gotta give up this fitness shit, man. I gotta go back to school.